topic of this video is identifying the least common denominator of two or more rational expressions. Let's look at a problem. Find the LCD of the rational expressions in the list. Express your answer in factored form. LCD is least common denominator. Okay, so we're going to go through the steps that were presented in another video. The first step is to factor all of the denominators, not the numerators, just the denominators. Okay, let's proceed. So this is a difference of squares, which factors as x plus 2 and x minus 2. This is a trinomial whose variable squared term has a coefficient of 1, which means this is a pretty easy one to factor. We just need two numbers that multiply to make negative 6, that add to make positive 1. That would be positive 3 and negative 2. Each one gets an x in front of it, and then we make our factors. We can check with FOIL if we like. x squared minus 2x plus 3x makes plus x minus 6. Okay, so we've now done step one. Step two, one factor, excuse me, one fraction at a time, ask yourself the question, what polynomial factors do the other denominators have that this one is missing? So let's be very clear with our, with our uh, definitions here. This x plus 2 is a factor. This x plus 3 is a factor. That's what we're talking about, factors in the denominator. So imagine you are this fraction, and you're looking at the other fraction and asking yourself, what, to, what does that fraction have? What factors does that fraction have in its denominator that I am missing? Well, this fraction has the factor x plus 3 in the denominator, whereas this one does not. Therefore, this first fraction needs an x plus 3 so that they can start to become alike. But in order to make our first fraction equivalent, if you put an x plus 3 in the bottom, you are required to also put an x plus 3 in the top. Okay, so the first fraction is now satisfied. There is nothing that that fraction is missing when compared to its neighbor. So now we swap roles. So now pretend that you are this fraction and you're looking at the other fraction's denominators for factors that you wish you had. Well, the other fraction's denominator has the factor x plus 2, which is missing from here. So we place the additional factor x plus 2 down in the denominator. That changes the value of the fraction. To restore it to its original value, place an x plus 2 in the numerator as well. Once you've done this, you can now see that the denominators match. They both have an x plus 2, an x minus 2, and an x plus 3. The fact that these are in a different order does not matter because multiplication is commutative and can be done in any order. So the least common denominator is x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 3. This answer is in factored form. We've left each one of the factors in our answers. And that is the end of this problem.